It's a long drive from pretty much anywhere. While the views are spectacular, there aren't many people around to enjoy them. This land was a sheep ranching operation run by Basque sheep herders from the 1940s to the 1990s. It has been empty since then, except for the visitors who come to hike the area, which is now public land. The ranch house, several outbuildings, and a large barn all look like they could still be in use today. But these days, the barn houses a different kind of animal, thousands of bats. As the sun starts to set, WDFW staff and a volunteer cover two of the four windows on the barn. This limits where bats can exit from the structure, making it easier for staff to count them. Four people sit outside the two other open windows. As it slowly gets darker, the bats exit the barn, one or two at a time at first, then by the dozen, flying at frenetic speeds. As the bats zip around their heads, the people use counters, like those that are sometimes used to count people at public events, to record how many bats they observed. Every time a bat exits, they click the counter. For about an hour, it's a frenzy of activity as bats leave the colony in droves, sometimes resembling a scene in an old vampire movie. After that, the action slows to very few bats coming or going, and the humans barely able to see those that do in the twilight. When it's all done, each human who is counting provides their numbers, and an average of those numbers is used. On this night, right around 4,000 bats were counted, which is pretty close to what counters observed at the same time last year, meaning the colony appears to be stable at this time. The human counters pack up their chairs, check themselves for ticks, and start the long drive home with just the headlights and the stars for lighting. <laughs>